teeny girl. You're bothering me. Hey girl, hey. So today I'm going to be filming a fun little video that I thought of. Just kidding, I feel like I've seen this video before, but it is highly applicable to myself. So I'm very excited to share it. So basically today I'm going to be talking about the Harry Potter series and more specifically reading the series as an adult. I am currently 22, hooray. And basically this past six months really to a year has been the first time that I really understood the whole hype behind Harry Potter. I've read the first two books, which are The Sorcerer's Stone and The uh, Chamber of Secrets multiple, multiple times over my entire life. And it was always a struggle. I listened to the audiobooks. I tried every trick in the book to read this series and it never, ever, ever stuck. And for some reason in June, I just on a whim was like, let me try the first Harry Potter book again. Like, why not? Let's do it. And then for whatever reason, I really got into it. I was very engaged the entire time. I read them very, very fast, which I think was my problem last time. I read them very slow and I kind of just took it a chapter at a time. Where this time around, I really just focused and just really got it done right away. So I really connected with the characters and the plot line and it was just a lot of fun and very magical and all the things you expect from the Harry Potter series. Then as soon as I hit the third book, that's when I really like fell in love with the story and all of the characters and I really felt for all of the characters. I really understood where everything was coming from. They just kept getting like more fast paced for me. It was just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story. I also, in the first two books, when I first read them, just really felt that they were for children. And I just had in my mindset that Harry in the first book was 11 and I was 22 or 16 or whatever the age was that I tried to read them. And it just didn't appeal to me, I guess. And I just like chucked it off as being like, well, it's made for children coming of age. Like that's what the story is about. It's about a boy starting off when he was 11 and 12 to being what, 18, 17, 18. So, Oh, my kitten. Stop. Kitten, stop. This is my new kitten. This is teeny. Teeny girl. You're bothering me. So, yeah. Basically, it just felt really, really childish. And I just couldn't understand that place anymore. Because I had just... It's been 10 years since I've been 11 and 12. So, it just... I don't know. I really also don't like children that much. Oh, so anything from a child's perspective kind of ruins it for me. I also have been spoiled slash know a lot of the plot lines in the series that I guess would ruin the experience for a lot of people. I kind of my entire life was kept very, very far away from Harry Potter. My mom never let me watch the movies. I only watched like the first two movies, I think. Um, I was never really exposed to it. So I know like general things, but there are still a lot of plot lines that like I'm still shocked over and that I still like to uncover and stuff like that. So it's not like completely like, ooh, there's nothing new for me to gain. There's always something new for me to gain. And I learned that this time around reading all like I'm on the second to last book but reading that far in I finally like okay I guess there are things I don't know because you just think like oh well Harry Potter we all know the story but there's definitely more to it than that and at the time I read this it was kind of the perfect story for me I really wanted like a childish childish I guess just fun and carefree kind of story because at the time I guess I was struggling so bad. Looking back on it, I feel like I'm struggling way more than I thought of at the time. Also, my dog's chewing on his bone, so I'm sorry if that is distracting. And I cleaned my lens, but I feel like it's still fuzzy around the edges, so I apologize for that. I don't know, did that help? Anyways, so, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I just read it at a time where I really needed a fun, carefree story. So if you're looking for that with like magical elements and like a magical school and learning new things and learning about a new world, I suggest picking it up at that moment. 
because otherwise, like me, you won't be in the mood for it and you'll forever be tainted by the fact that you don't like Harry Potter. Even though you do, you just weren't in the mood for it at the time. Yeah, so the third book is when I really started to fall in love with the stories. We were introduced to just a lot of new characters and to like a much more fleshed out, I would say, plot line. Like it was just more interesting to me, especially because I already knew the endings of the first two books from reading it so many times before. The third book is really when I started to fall in love with it. And then the fourth book, I just fell in love with it completely. The fourth book is so far my favorite, I would say. I just enjoyed the whole journey of it. And that's really when all bets were off. I was in love with Harry Potter kind of thing. I also really like how the books are very well paced. Something is always happening. You're always learning something new. Something is always being unveiled to you. Harry and his friends are always up to something. They're always on some sort of mission or adventure or something like that. And it's just really fun to see and just look over from like a bird's eye view, but also feel like you're a part of the story and feel included in everything. And everything is really well explained and uh, the plot is easy to follow. The character are there's like a crazy family tree but it's not too crazy you kind of understand who's related to who and all that good stuff i just feel like they're crafted really 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 well it's just a great atmosphere um very witchy very just beautiful in general and i 100 would go to hogwarts at any moment give me my letter i'm ready gryffindor i need the sorting hat i need the great hall i need it all i'm just saying kitten no so love me some of that and yeah in general i would just say that reading harry potter the series as an adult is definitely different obviously than if i were to have read it as a child i was not able to grow up with harry and his friends i wasn't able to experience all of those things at a younger age but i do feel that there is something said for reading it when you're older just because a lot of the situations that Harry are put into or just the different things that are discussed and stuff like that, there's nothing that you're ever questioning. I don't know. I do feel like I will never be like a die hard, true, like dress up in Harry Potter clothing kind of fan just because I didn't have that when I was little. It's just not as, I guess, exciting to me, but the stories are really, really good. And it doesn't matter what age you are, they're just really, really good, trust me. I support it. So everybody go read the Harry Potter series. Seven books, they're long. It's gonna take you a little while, but that's okay because I've been enjoying it the entire way through and I can definitely say I am a true Harry Potter fan now. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to follow my bookstagram page. It will be down below. Also, if you want to buy my Harry Potter bookmark collection, that will also be down below. And um, my Goodreads is down there. What else is interesting about me? I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it.